what's up guys once again you're welcome to my channel today all right as on Tuesday keep celebrating the victory of governor Deleke at the supreme court against oyetala the former governor of Oshun state um obedient are beginning to study the template that was used in defeating uh, an incumbent governor in Oshun state that is oyetola now i want to let you guys know that the same lawyer that oyeto i mean uh, Adeleke is using is the same lawyer that Peter B is using, and his name is Onyechi Ikbezo. You know, so but this guy, this lawyer here, has this legend trick, you know, attached to him of being an undefeated lawyer. He has never lost a case ever since he began his legal practice. He has never lost a case, and so right now and the the system or the template he used in defeating apc in a show state it is the same template that peter will be, is going to use to defeat Tenobu at the appeal court now look at this information added that he used beavers it is simply beavers now at the tribunal oyetola was declared the winner Oyetola, the governor of APC, was declared the winner. And then, um, according to the information that the tribunal was able to issue a verdict, they said that there was overvoting. That was how they declared Oyetola the winner. And then, uh, Deleke went to appeal court. Now, appeal court looked at the whole judgment and everything and declared that the tribunal, eh, they condemned the ruling of the tribunal, that the tribunal relied on oral evidence, you know, that they should have re relied on information from the beavers, you know, but, so because of that, they were able to, I mean, declare Adeleke as the winner. They said that, I mean, the tribunal, relied on information oral evidence meanwhile they are supposed to have relied on on um, information from the beavers so that was what um adeleke used and then from there oyetola appealed to the supreme court and the supreme court still upheld the ruling of the appeal court that said that information from the beavers is what they relied on and now you know that there have been debates INEC have been saying that they are not mandated to upload any results from beavers and all of that, that they are only mandated to conduct election, that anyhow they want to conduct the election is their business. But Supreme Court is now ruling here that, no, that the information on the beavers is what must be relied on. So right now, it is said that Tenebrous Camp is in panic mode. They are panicking very seriously because they know what... INEC did. INEC knew what they did. You can imagine 300 billion naira was spent to conduct an election to buy beavers and IREV machine. You know, the IREV is the one they use for viewing portal so that people can view results at real time. As it's been uploaded, they will view it. But you saw what happened. They never followed any of these things. And even the tribunal even warned INEC before you conduct governorship election. That was after the uh, presidential election. Make sure you back up those information in the Beavers machine. So this is going to spell doom for INEC. And if K is not taken, Mahmoud Abbas will go to jail. He will go to jail. And Tinubu may never, he will never win this election because one, INEC never conducted. In fact, there was no election. There was no presidential election. So, but the little evidence that is going to be gotten, either the, the winner will be awarded to either Peter Obi or Atika Obaka. But from the look of things, Peter Obi had more votes than Abubaka because if you look at where Peter Obi penetrated, it is not where PDP could even penetrate. Look at Lagos. Peter Obi penetrated Lagos and won squarely in Lagos, penetrated Abuja. These are very deep strongholds that uh, ordinarily, you, you don't just penetrate this place if you don't have the capacity to do that. So right now, um, the Beavers is going to be the savior of this election. The Beavers is going to be, and it is what the judiciary said, they will rely on 
evidence from the beavers to declare a winner. But people keep asking, how I wish they'll be able to do that before the swearing in of uh, May 29 of, of Tenobu. But some, some legal practitioner said that no, there is no way in the constitution that Tenobu must be sworn in on 29th of May. There is no way. It is not stipulated in the constitution. And so because of that, um, we are waiting to see, although there are some fracas in our constitution that say that the court case is to take 180 days. That is six months. That is what they, uh, they envisage. And when Falana came on board, Falana, you know, clarified and said, those who wrote the constitution never envisage technology. They did not take technology into, you know, consideration because with technology, I mean, verdict can be issued under two weeks, just like what we have in Kenya. Falana stated that Kenya, before a president is sworn in, that president, you know, automatically must be validated by, you know, uh, by the judiciary. It must be validated. It must be, you know, as uh, the, the judiciary must issue judgment in his favor before he is sworn in. And then you know, a particular lawyer came up and said that Nigeria practice that same uh, law. We practice that same system of judiciary in the 1979 election where Shagari emerged the winner against Awolowo. Shagari won and um, the Supreme Court gave verdict. After the Supreme Court, they gave verdict before Shagari was sworn in. You know, so that Nigeria had this system of government before, but it should, that is what is supposed to be followed. That is what makes sense. According to what Cardinal Onayekan said, this, it doesn't make sense to swear in Tenobu when they are pending court cases against him. It doesn't make sense. And a lot of Nigerians have come out to back Cardinal Onayekan on that, that judgment must be issued out before he is sworn in. So there are a lot of calls now, and a revolution from the local thing is about to break out because protest is beginning to erupt all part of the country that they should postpone the swearing in of Tenobu, you know. So that is what is uh, that's what is happening right now. So but what do you guys think, please? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emacom TV. God bless you. Yeah.